hey guys what's going on in this video i'm going to show you an easy way to create a function in javascript that checks if any data in your code is empty if you're in for this let's dive in so why do you even need to check for an empty data in your code well there are so many reasons why you might want to do that. One of the most common reasons is to avoid errors. This is important especially if you're working with data that may not always be present or may be missing at some point. For example, if you're trying to access an element in a list and the list is empty, you may get an index out of bound error if you do not check for the empty list first. Second reason is handling of missing data. For instance, if you're working with a database and a particular field is not present in a record, you will need to handle this missing data in a specific way rather than just letting the code throw an error. So there's so many reasons to do this, but to keep the video short, let's just chill out here and start coding. Let's define a function called is empty so the function will take in a single argument so let's pass in data here now let's use the ternary operator to check the type of data if the type of data is object then we will check the length of the object's keys using object.keys and return true if the length is equal to zero otherwise if the type of data is not object then the function will return the opposite of the boolean value of the data. So let me go over again. This code defines a function called is empty and it takes in a single argument which is data. The function uses the ternary operator to check the type of data. If the type of data is object, then the function will check the length of the object keys using object.keys and return true if the length is equal to zero. Otherwise, if the type of data is not object, then the function will return the opposite boolean value of the data. Now let's test our code and see. Um, but to do that, we need to call our function somehow. So I'm just gonna console log it. So I'll pass in the function name here, which is empty. Then let's pass in an empty string for instance. Let's run it and see. So that returns true because our string is empty, obviously. So let's pass in some value and see what that would give us. And now it returns false because our string is not empty. So let's try another data type. Let's pass in an empty array, for instance. Let's run it and see. That returns true because our array is empty. Now let's pass in some value here. One. Let's run that. Now we get a false because we now have values in our array. Let's try another data type. Let's pass in an empty object. Let's run that. We get true because our object is empty. Let's try another data type. If you find value in this video, please smash the like button. Help the channel grow by considering to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.